right, good morning guys. I am back and this is going to be a video on journals that I've received and then we're going to do happy mails. Um, and some of this I've had for a little bit because, yeah, um, I, okay, so this journal here, I'll just jump in. This journal here is, um, was made for me by, um, Sammy Jared. And I'm going to link down below because I meant to, when we did our journal stop, journal swap earlier, I meant to link, um, the video that she was showing how she made these things. Um, but as par, like lately, I totally spaced out to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and link, um, her information below. I'll link her channel and I'll link her Etsy shop. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of it, but I've already actually already started using this and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, she used, I believe it was the fern kit from, um, Crafty Cat, Amy at Crafty Cat. And she did an amazing job. And so I'll just quickly flip through these. I haven't used my cards yet, but yeah, I've been journaling in it. Um, and I love it. I'm like, I'm going to be honest guys. Like I love creating journals, but I'm not always the best journaler. And, um, what I've done is I've put my journal right next to my bed at night. And so, um, it's making it very easy for me to journal. And so I just, you know, I love, I love the kit. I love all of, um, Sammy's work in it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, all of the detail that Sammy put into all of this, it's gorgeous. Um, so again, I will lock, uh, lock, I will link her information down below, but it's literally, it's stunning. She does absolutely beautiful work. Uh, look at this little em envelope here. So I, I, I love this. Okay. So I think this might be a Roxy creation doyle doily here, but so she made this flip with the flap, right? Flip flap. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> it's really early here and you'll have to excuse the sunlight coming in. Um, but I have a lot of videos to record today, so we're just going to go with it. And then, um, she used the card or the envelope for a little card, right? Check out that. Like just her attention to detail is amazing. So like I said, I'm going to link the video. Uh, um, I think I'll link the finished, like the finished flip through. And then, um, yeah, definitely go out over and check out how she made this. Cause I think she did like three, maybe four videos on it. Honestly, I can't remember it. Literally it's been a month guys. <laughs> I mean, I know everybody's having a month, but up until yesterday, the tax office was still open. And, um, we are closing till March 30th and then we're going to reevaluate, um, things and see where the world is at. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely brilliant. Open. Oh, there's a little one down in here. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Sammy does beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful. And the kit is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Another one of these little pocket, like envelope pocket things. Yeah. Look at that. I love her layering. She does a beautiful job layering. And this is another one of her little envelope flips. Isn't this cool? Oh, look at that. Oh. I haven't actually looked at the back side of the journal much. Like, I mean, I flipped through it, obviously, but I haven't really looked, looked. Um, and this is going to sound funny, but because, um, like, obviously I watched her flip through and <clears throat> I'm not sick, guys. I promise it really is allergies. Everything here is like coming alive. <laughs> and so Grace and I are both like, what? Um, but I purposely haven't like looked, looked through all the pockets cause I wanted like a surprise. Every time I come through my journal, I want, I want something to pop out at me. So yeah, I, like it's gorgeous. She does beautiful work. Okay. Again, I'm going to 
I'm going to send or link all that down there so you can see um, that video that she did for this one. And then, um, then yeah, I'll link her shop too because I know that she does have um, things in her shop. Okay, so that is journal number one that I received. And then, and same with this one. I'm not going to go through great detail with it um, because um, Emily... Um, at Emma Femmer's Treasures made this journal just for me, but she also has process videos that she's releasing now. So I'm just going to show you basically what she's done so far in her videos as to not like take away from her videos. So this one, like, so a couple weeks ago, she was asking people like, um, you know, tell me what to do, you know, be the boss of me type of thing on her lives. And it was really cute. And I was just like... Um, I was trying to be funny and I think I was, but I was like, make Dee Dee a journal. That's what you should do. <laughs> make Dee Dee a journal. Number three, number four, number five, make Dee Dee a journal. So anyway, so she did. Um, so this guy is huge. Six, um, by seven and a half, right? Yeah. About seven and a half and check out the spine guys. She is big. Three and about three inch spine and check out this um, tassel here. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think she said the kit is um, from Medieval Mirage. Um, and here's a little story and she would have no idea on um, this or she didn't when I told her she was like, oh my gosh, it was like it was meant to be. Okay. So, and um, I'm sure my mom will correct me on any of the information if it's not 100% right, which I'm almost certain I am because um, I remember my grandma telling me this story. Um, so my great grandma, the one from Italy, had planted blue irises. <clears throat> um, I should give you a little history first, though, before we really get started. Okay, so where we live um, is the property right next door to where my grandfather was born and raised. Um, so, and there's a lot of the original building area still there. Um, my great grandmother's house is still standing. Um, it needs, it needs a lot of TLC, but it's still standing. And then, um, they had a root cellar, um, which has since collapsed since then. Um, so that's a little bit sad, but you can still kind of see like where the rock, were for the root, cell root cellar. Um, and I'm not sure if it was actually like a root cellar or something a little bit different. Um, but anyways, my great grandma had planted blue irises. And um, then my aunt, when she was living down in that area, um, um, went and collected a couple of the bulbs. And so then she planted them in um, where she was living. And then after my aunt moved away, my grandma wanted them. So I went and dug them up and I planted them for her. Um, years ago. And then um, when my grandmother passed and we moved into her home, I didn't quite like where the placement was because it was like kind of right in the middle of the yard. And um, it's kind of hard to explain, but there's like a rock patch and a grass patch. Well, um, Paul and I didn't really care for the rock patch. So we've kind of let the grass take over the rock patch. And so, but I dug up all of these and now, and I made this other big planter bed. And so then I have some of my great grandmother's blue irises. And so, yeah, um, yeah, they mean a lot to me and I need to stop picking at that. Cause yeah. All right. So anyways, so yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like a kismet thing. I like, I, every time I look at it, I never got to meet my great grandma. So yeah, I kind of just felt like she was saying hello. So yeah. Um, Emily, I'm not sure that you I mean, like you'd never even knew that story, but yeah, um, it's magical. So thank you. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to do like a huge flip through because I know Emily will do one, but I want to at least give you, um, the ideas and you know what? That's interesting. Okay. So I've never really actually seen a, um, a journal that is, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like hidden spine but it is, it's all hidden. I didn't realize that. Um, I, this is going to be one of those journals that you don't realize what all it is until, well, until she does like, like explains everything in a flip through and, and then plus when you look, 
Like every time you look at it, it's going to give you something new, you know? Um, so yeah, there's um, lots of tucks and pockets. Um, and she's tipped all of it in gold paint. Um, there's some Edith Holden. Holden. I'm sorry, I'm so tongue-tied today. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love this kit. It's perfect. <clears throat> Little page tabs. Look at how sweet those are. So, yep, I'm going to, there's a couple of key things that I want to point out to you. So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not showing you my whole journal. You're going to have to go watch Emily to see it all. Um, but there is something that she's done on video already. And I feel like I'm okay to share that without giving too much away. Does that make sense? Um... one nope there like I said guys there's a lot in there okay so this is one similar to what she just did and I believe her video was yesterday look at how cute this is okay so this is an envelope right and then it opens like so then you take out the card and look it's like completely see-through and I know she she did a few months back she did a video on these but then yeah she's made these window envelopes see see my finger through there isn't that cool? I love it. It's genius. And I also love how grungy it is. Like, I I love grunge. And I think Emily knows that. <laughs> I am a grungy girl. I do like that. Okay, now I can't remember. I was oh there it is. I was like, um now I can't remember. I was so excited. But now I can't remember. Oh, and I guess I should say, I pretty much, I gave um, Emily, like, almost zero parameters. Like, I'm not crazy about yellow, as far as, like, yellow being, like, the solid color. Like, the the brightest color. Where is that other one I wanted to show you? Because she just made it. Um, but, um, I don't mind splashes of yellow, right? Um, you guys are getting more of a view than I was thinking you would, but that's alright, right? Right? There it is. Okay, this one is the one she just made. Look at how her closure comes this direction instead of traditional. I love outside of the box stuff. Check that out. Little blue iris behind there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So I again, I will link I will link the videos of like her process videos that she's released so far down in the description and then of course I'll link her shop. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is parameters. Um, I had, didn't really give her any. Um, like, not a ton of yellow, right? Or like yellow being... Oh gosh, and now I have no idea where it goes. Should have marked the page, huh? There it is. Um, but yeah, just create. Have fun. Like, don't stress out about it. Just create something you want to create. So yeah, she did a beautiful, beautiful job. And again, I will link her stuff down below. And thank you so much, Emily. Literally, I opened it and I was like, holy moly. Like, wow. Yeah. Um, it's so pretty. Like, oh, and the other thing is, is that I, you know, I need to, I need to be able to journal in it, right? Um, Cause I actually am really liking the journal stuff. So, but I, I don't know. These are, like, it was really hard for me to even use this one with um, Sammy because they're just so pretty. And you don't want to, like, I don't know, me, I'm like, I don't want to mess up their pretty work. But, yeah, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. Um, it really, I got to tell you, it's really helping me and really inspiring me um, to journal more and to have fun with these journals that we're creating. So thank you, girls. Um, I love them. They're gorgeous. And I'm, I do have, like, this one is, like, my, um, this is what happened today. And this one is going to be um, my secret heart type um, journal. So my most intimate secrets will be kept in this one. So, yeah. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. Oh, and I did forget. And then Emily sent a bunch of, like, extra pieces of the ephemera kit for me to decorate pages with. And did I say Medieval Mirage? I'm almost certain that's what the, where this kit came from. And they're huge. They're huge, huge kits. 
Okay, so yeah, I got, I, you know what guys, I have been really like spoiled rotten. Spoiled, spoiled rotten. Um, let's, okay, so then Lori sent me some yumminess. Okay, that, okay, that's a shop share or auction share, I should say. Okay. All right, so Lori sent me all kinds of little goodies. And this is my little note. And um, I love that she does that because, well, this one's actually go like putting, I'm going to put it right now in the correspondence thing so I don't have a mess up like before. I still feel bad about that. Um, she dyed this gorgeous paper and it blended well a couple months ago and I just started like tearing it apart and using it. Um, only to discover when I turned it over, it had Lori's writing on it. I was like, ah, she was totally good with it. Check this out. Isn't this adorable? Lori, I think this cute little piece is going to go in, um, the next journal. Um, cause it's like a late summer journal and maybe you wrote that in your note, but I opened this like a week and a half ago and yeah, like I said, I'm so far behind. Um, but these colors are going to be perfect in the late fall. So Yeah gorgeous gorgeous um and then there's just this cute little index card and i think that's actually on mine some of my dyed papers cool 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 and that one too nice i love it yep that's really pretty check that out oh i like that it feels really nice Lori, you'll have to tell me did you use the like the iron on glue method or how did you do that oh, look at that doily isn't that gorgeous wow nicely done that's beautiful and then these little sacks here and then honestly I'm gonna say that I this was on the table and it just kind of snuck its way in um, uh, when I was doing one of my latest projects I mean, I, Lori might have sent it to me, but I don't think so. Check out this paper that she wrapped it in. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's gorgeous. Okay. And then look at this beautiful yumminess. So um, I'm not sure if she labeled. Oh, yep. Okay. Sweet. She did all the hard work for me. Check out this green. And she says it's green food coloring color with coffee. Isn't that cool? It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so and then this is egg dye in yellow. Okay, and I think I think this is the same. Oh, right. Okay, I see what she did. Okay, so the rest of these are, excuse me, egg dyes. Check that out, how that picked up that green from the last ones. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at those. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. It almost looks like little rust spots. That's awesome. Check out that green. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Lori does such a beautiful job on dyeing papers. Look at that blue. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very pretty, very pretty. And then a pink color. I'm going to have to pull it from this side. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so it's not going to be a like really look at the look at the like it's um, like a color palette type pinks to light purple like a lavender into like a blue purple. That's really cool. So it'll be hard for me to pull out the the piece. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that how they pick up the colors from like the dye before. Oh yeah. I am loving this. Well done, Lori. And I don't know. I think she said she wasn't putting these in her shop. Maybe she was. Sorry, Lori. It's been like that part of our conversation was like, I don't know, like two weeks ago. So 
yeah, my brain is literally fried. Like, I feel like I haven't slept in two months. Um, yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Lori. These are gorgeous. And like I said, I will link her shop in the description box as well. Okay. And then this came, um, I had ordered, uh, off of a live sale. It was only the second time that I'd ever done it. And it's a, um, drawings from the masters and it didn't have a cover, but I'm all right with that. So it's really, really old. And I can't remember the year. It was like early 1900s and it might say. I don't remember, but it's very interesting. It's like a um, fourth series. Uh, 1907 there we go drawings from the old masters so um, obviously it's not in great shape so I'm not gonna feel too bad of taking this one apart um, but yeah it's um, Hercules and the Hydra um, pen and ink from 1429 to 1498 so it's that drawing there and so it's got um, true to the title it's got all kinds of old masters um, pick uh, photocopies, I guess, of the originals. So yeah, it's really cool. Michelangelo. So yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna really have fun playing with these. Um, cause I I have an idea. Um, at Christmas time, Shabby Dabby Doodah had a um a free kit that you could download. And so I downloaded that and I think I'm gonna use these types of things, like make a fummer with that, and then use that kit. Um, Cause it's like a beige and black and I think it'll just blend really well. So yeah, I got this book. So I'm excited to use that. And then I ordered these little Christmas trees um, for Christmas. Cause it was like $1.25 for all these charms. And I'm like, that's pretty cheap. Oh, I should mention it was Keisha that I got, um, and oh boy, I can't remember her name, but I will, I don't, I don't think she has an Etsy shop. I'll have to double check on that. Um, if for some reason you don't see Keisha's, um, information down below, um, just make a comment and I will, um, try to remember to put that, like put it in like, like link her. Well, you know, that's what I'll do. I'll just link one of her videos and then you can follow that link and it'll take you to her and then it'll have all of her information in there. Cause like I said, I don't think I'm almost certain she doesn't have an Etsy shop. Okay. So then she backed it on this Rook card and my little note there. And then she sent these really bizarre, like 1980s clip on earrings. Um, I don't know what to do with these. Um, I'm not sure. Um, they're funny. Like, I, I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but these are hilarious. Um, 1980s, um, ugly clip on earrings. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We'll find something fun, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me in a dream or something. Um, yeah. All right. So then <clears throat> Lisa at Handmade by Lisa sent me um, some napkins because she found out that I was gonna, I'm planning an Americana journal. So yeah, she sent me all these really cute napkins. Aren't those neat? And she already took the backing off for me. How cool is that? Thank you, Lisa. That like takes a ton of the work out. Aren't those cool? Very, very cool. I love it. Yeah, so there's more of that one. And then she sent this little gold, um, uh, it's like a cotton ribbon. Yeah. All right. So I will be using those in the Americana journal. And then, let's see. And um, these are a little out of order because I'm saving one of the last ones there. Okay. And then I ordered some stuff from Alicia at Casa de Cognito. Decognito. Um, very cool shop. She's got some um, different things going on in there. 
Um, so yeah, she, yeah, they're pretty cool. So I ordered these alteration tags from her. They are super cool. I mean, they're pretty standard, um, alter, like, like there's not anything different than you would like, you know, oh gosh, I am all tongue tied today. So they're just, um, really like the standard alteration tags. They're super cool. And I believe there is 10 in a pack. Okay. And then check out this really cool paper. Um, I watched her video on these, um, when she found it, it was like one of her haul videos and it's amazing. I can't wait to feel it. Um, oh yeah. It's kind of like a mulberry paper, like crepey. Oh, it feels amazing. And they're all just a little bit different, obviously. So like they're handmade papers, I think, cause like it's not, it's not like a print. It's actually like a leaf in there. It's really cool. And I think she said, don't quote me, but I think she said she got these at an estate sale maybe. I can't remember. I'm telling you, honestly, guys, my brain is fried from the last couple of weeks. It's been, it's been nuts. And, um, I feel like I'm walking around with constant bags under my, not, my eyes and <laughs> my poor family. Okay. So, and then, um, Alicia has, um, uh, like you get to pick like five, um, of the napkins that you want. So that's kind of an option. Um, and she was so naughty. She sent me eight envelope or eight, eight napkins instead of five naughty, but thank you very much. I like, I love all of them. And she too has, um, D backed them for me, which is awesome. But I can tell you if you guys get one from me, it's not going to have the back taken off. Like, um, I love you. And if I send it to you, obviously, you know, I love you, but yeah, um, that, oh, I struggle just getting it off myself. I would have your napkin ripped to shreds anyways. So yeah, this really does help me. And so I told her just, you know, just pick and do like flowers and butterflies, right? Look at that beautiful napkin. Is that amazing? And cute little birdies. It says Paris on there somewhere. Oh, right. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this will work great for my May project for Crafty Cat. And I don't, she, there's no way she could have known that. So yeah. Yay. It's like we're all syncing up. Okay. Butterflies and irises. And I think this is the one, somewhere on this one, I think there's a dragonfly. One of them, one of the more purple ones has a dragonfly on it. Maybe I'm missing it. Huh. I thought so, maybe not. Again, I'm a bit loony. I am a bit loony. But, oh, this is gorgeous. I love this napkin. Because this is, like, my favorite color. Like, the aqua blue teal color. It's been my favorite color probably since, like, sixth grade. Maybe even before then. And I think it was my grandma. I can't remember if it was my mom or my grandma. Um, I think it was my grandma. Because she was always making me, like, cool little clothes and stuff. And I was that kid that I would wear it, um, like one year for Christmas. And I know a lot of eighties and early nineties kids will totally get this. But, um, my grandma got me a, like a turquoise color, like sweat suit, you know, it had like the sweatpants and the sweatshirt. And it was when they were starting to make like slender leg, um, sweatpants instead of like kind of bulky. And then, um, with the elastic in the bottom. So, you know, more in style type, um, uh, sweatshirts and sweatpants. Right. And then she did this really cool leaf pattern on it. And I want to say, I think those were teal too. And then she took like the scribble marker pieces and she outlined all the leaves and put in like the veins and everything. I loved that outfit and I wore it to school and I got teased relentlessly, but I was just like, you know what? My grandma loves me more than your grandma does because my grandma made this. So yeah, um, I've always danced the beat of my own drummer 
for a lot of it. And, um, oh, what I was originally telling you is then my grandma had made this, um, uh, tank top for me with Scotty dogs. Cause I like teal and Scotty dogs. I don't know. It was probably like in between nine and 12, I think was that, that was kind of my thing. Okay. So in this gorgeous happy meal comes from joy and joy was thinking that maybe I wouldn't like the stuff she sent, I think. And like, I don't want to say uncertain, but maybe a little uncertain. Um, but here's honestly how I feel about happy mail. Um, I love anything anybody sends me. And if it's not quite at my street, then I'll figure out a craft to use it in. Hold on guys. Those Siamese cats, I tell you, they like to be in everything. Get. Yeah, I apologize, guys. Um, what those cats do is they get into my cupboards and they pull the doors open and then the material just like, they like rip it all out and like they don't do damage to it, but yeah, then it's everywhere. Silly cats. Okay, so back to the Happy Meal. Um, no, I, because everything in this package is literally a gift of love and it touches my heart. So, um, and, but it turns out that I can use everything in this because it's super cute. Um, so I'm just going to show you this. And I believe Joy told me that she was just really getting started in the whole junk journal stuff. So yeah, um, let everybody welcome her to, to the junk journal stuff. Check these out. Isn't this adorable? And I don't know that I'll be able to use it in a baby book, but I do think that we can use these in my upcoming project. And um, we'll kind of go through that at the end of this video too. Um, Cause the colors are right. This whole, this whole thing, it, it, it will look cute. Okay. And then I think these are kind of like Mary Inglebright and I've never actually, yep. Mary Inglebright. I've never actually had anything Mary Inglebright before in my life. I've always seen it and loved it. Um, but yeah, I've never had it. So I'm super excited about these and they're all Christmas. I don't know. I think this sticker came off another page. Um, but yeah, these are Christmas. Check out that cute little heart with the little tree. That's adorable. Okay. And check out these little die cuts that she made for me. Oh, here's a little bit. I don't know if these are Mary Inglebright or not, but yeah, those are cute little Christmas ones too. Um, yeah, so these are cute little cards and look at this cute little tag. Yeah, super cute. Joy, did you make this cute little pocket and the tag? Like they're adorable. And then check these out. Aren't these cool? Stickabilities. That's what this one is called. I love it. They're gorgeous. And I do love making ocean themes. And Bo, my son, is like an addict of, of anything ocean related. And check these out. Um, these are ocean rub-ons. And I've never had rub-ons before, so I am super excited and now, um, I think it was Dear Julie Julie found some rub-ons at the dollar store. Um, and so she was showing really cute ways to use rub-ons. Aren't these cool? Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I can't do that. Ugh. I'm going to end up messing it up. Check that. Oh, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to have fun playing with these. Um, that is if I can keep them away from Bo. Like I said, he is like an ocean kid. Um, aren't we all though? <laughs> if it's, if we're cold and it's warm, we want to be at the ocean, right? And check out this cute one. Oh gosh, I meant to bring it in to kind of, okay. So last weekend we went to a birthday party and you know, you're a junk journaler when you take napkins from a party. Um, it has fish on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that will make the cutest little journal. And so it will. And then I get home and Joy had sent me fishing stickers. So perfect, perfect, perfect. And these cute little, what are they called? Stick? Stickopodoramas? Uh, binder stickers. 
cool. And so they're like, um, obviously you can tell they're um, ornaments, Christmas ornaments. So that would be fun to use during Christmas, huh? And I actually think I'll probably end up starting Christmas early again. Okay, and so then they're, um, I love these little stickers here. Um, these are, like I got some of these kind of things um, in my grandma's stash. Um, and I literally am almost out. They're really cool. I love how the, they're like a vellum sticker. And so they really show up through any of the backgrounds that you have. So I love those. And check out these really cute flamingos. I love them. Destination Paradise. It's so stinking cute. And check this out. How cool is that? I love this. Oh, and it's, I didn't, you know what? I hadn't flipped it over yet. Oh, look, it says Colorado. Mile High State, that is us. Um, This is going to be a really, really cute thing in a journal. Florida. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I love that sticker. That's adorable. Yeah, that's adorable. New York and Florida. Yeah, really cool. And then golf. I love golf. I don't love golf, but Paul loves golf. And so I've been slowly working on little things for him. Um, um, just like so that I want to put all of his like child like we have some childhood pictures and I want to put an album together for him and so I've been slowly collecting stuff so this will work really great in that one and then check out this cute little one the little RV those are super cute more golf right look out Polly I got some golfing stuff and well, and that's like stuff that you can't really find, at least here, like golfing stickers or anything like that. So Cape Cod National Seashore. Oh, look at those little birds. Oh, they're turtles. Look at those. I love those. Those seashells are awesome. <clears throat> All right. Milestones. Phrase Cafe. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's all individual, which you probably guys have already figured that out, right? Um, so they're all words that are individual. So then you pretty much pick what you want and you use your little thing here and just take the words you want off of it. That's really cool. So in like the milestones, what it's saying is um, a graduate, um, high school, um, honored, um, yeah. Sweet. Very cool. And then she sent me the cutest little papers here. Actually, I'm going to set this aside because you'll see why in the next few videos. Check this out. Isn't that cool? And look at how sweet this is. Little dragonfly, butterfly, bumblebee, ladybug. I apologize for yawning, guys. Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside and this aside. These are so, so cute. Cute little hearts. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty too. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Isn't that so sweet? It's got little babies playing on a teeter-totter. Oh, yep, that one's going, setting aside too. Ooh, look at that dragonfly. You know what? This one's going to set over here because we're still working on the dragonfly and bee stuff, which I have an update for that one too. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Um, when Gracie and I looked through this, like I said, it's, it's been a little bit since I got the package, but um, Gracie and I found those, and that's adorable. So I'm pretty sure, sh oh my gosh, I can't even talk. These are book pages, but I'm not sure where they came from, and I'm going to set this aside because it's got dragonflies in it, so that will work in that little mini dragonfly journal that we're doing. 
Check that out. So cute. Little ocean scene there. Little lighthouse. Very cool, very cool. And I think these little birds will work in one of the next projects. Okay. So very cool. Thank you so much, Joy. And thank you so, 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 so much for thinking of me. I really, really appreciate it. And I love everything. And I love the love I felt when I opened it. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, and I appreciate you all so very much. And I guess I should do a journal update. Um, Joy, or not Joy, um... Ozjan won this and it has not gone out yet. Um, it will go out Monday. Today is Saturday. Um, but my post office didn't have all the right um, things to mail it. So she's like, I promise I will get it on the truck and it'll be delivered Monday. So um, she was out of custom slips and she was out of the um, box that this fit in. So um, Jan, if you're watching, I promise by like Monday, what is Monday? Uh, Monday the 23rd it will go out Monday the 23rd um, so yeah awesome for that so that's a catch-up okay so what's coming next is I'm gonna probably bring you along um, to do the B journal um, I still have to paint the 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 tree ring we did the other day and then I've got the papers ready and I've got a lot of the ephemera ready to put in, but there's still a couple of things I need to make. It's going to be um, beautiful yet techniques you've already learned. So feel free to like fast forward if you need to. Um, I'm obviously not going to do it in this video, but that's coming up. And then I'm going to start um, Amy at Crafty Cat's color challenge. Um, yeah, so the first challenge was green, so obviously this pink isn't going to work, but it will work for the project the green is going into. Um, and I probably should have brought it, um, but my next, um, journal, like, uh, design team project for Crafty Cat is going to be her Easter kit, and I think it's called Easter Bonnet. So, yep, we'll, we'll do that, and then, um... Then I will, um, Susan Taylor Brown's design team project will be kind of like continuing. So, um, as I'll have the bee and the butterfly done, and then, um, there's another thing that I need to make with it. And then, um, Susan should be done with, um, the dragonflies probably in the next couple of days. Um, so then I can finish the dragonfly one and then, um, I'm actually, I didn't think it was going to be an issue to find hummingbird stuff, but apparently it is. So we're going to have to maybe improvise a little bit on the hummingbirds. Um, but yeah, so once once they're all kind of get together, um, I'll, I'll show you the whole complete stuff, obviously. Um, yeah, so in the next little while, you're going to see a couple of, um, it's going to kind of probably feel random um, that we're going from this to that to this to that. So um, please bear with me until I get my schedules kind of hammered out again. All right, I love you all. Welcome to all the new subscribers and um, hello to all my old subscribers and we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.